what's up youtube so today i'm gonna go over my picks for the week in the spl this is uh, of course my pc picks um as a lot of you may or may not know and for most of you know um i'm no longer on the roster for envious so i am still part of envious org i'm a streamer and kind of like a part-time analyst for the team whenever they need it basically i am Play and Smite, I am going to be playing Xbox here very soon. I'm already on a team, uh, going to be playing competitively, but I am still part of Envy, Team Envious. I'm still part of the organization. Um, I'm, not, I'm not going anywhere. So I just wanted to clear that up before I did this, but we're going to go ahead and jump into picks. So if you see me, like, not necessarily picking Envy to 2-0 every time, which I would when I was on the team, it's just because I don't have the same knowledge. I'm not a part of the team. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to clear that up before I start doing these picks and bans. We're going to go ahead and start... Right off, I already did this last week on accident, but I have Enemy beating the Randozos. Enemy just looked really strong in Season 1. I'd be really surprised if they drop a game to Randozos, who are arguably one of the bottom two teams. I have... Alright, so first, I had Allegiance losing this. I had Denial 2-0-ing at first. Um, after watching Team Allegiance play and Denial losing teammates and doing swaps and having a different mid and different jungle... Um, I'd really be surprised if Denial won both games, so I went, I'm going with a split now on them. We got Envy versus Soar, two of the top three teams, uh, arguably, like, definitely to me, they're easily two of the top three teams. I haven't seen Envy play with Mast. Uh, they looked really good last season, last, uh, last game, last week. Wasn't really a surprise to me. Uh, they only got a pentakill, they dumpstered. They weren't playing one of the top teams. Thor is very good. I've scrimmed against them. They're a very solid team. I'm going to go with a split here. If either team 2 O's, I won't be surprised. But a split is more likely to happen. Then we've got over to EU. I don't know anything about these Europe teams. Uh, I've gotten a little bit of information. I've actually watched some of the games, but I keep forgetting who's on what team. Um, obviously, Cringe Crew apparently hasn't played. I don't even know who that is or if they got picked up. I don't know what that is. I have no idea. Um, I'm going to go with a split. I have no fucking clue what's going on there. We got Torpedo versus Leftovers. Once again, I'm not really sure in these matchups. A lot of the European teams did not look very solid. I'm going to go with the split here too because who the fuck knows what's happening in Europe. All we know is that Panthera, Epsilon, same team. Um, they're probably number one. And that Paradigm is also going to be very strong. So we do have a really solid matchup here. We got Paradigm versus Panthera. If Epsilon loses, I'd be surprised. So I'm going to go with Panthera, Epsilon. Um, if they do lose, it'd be a shock. And could sh kind of shake things up in Europe right off the start of the season. It'd be kind of crazy. Now we got Fnatic versus Cringe Crew. Fnatic's not looking so hot. Their jungler's really, really weak this season. Uh, maybe he'll step it up. And I, like I said, I don't know who Cringe Crew is. I almost want to look. I'm, I'm going to do that. I'm going to look up my Cringe Crew just for you guys. Because I don't know who the fuck that is. I didn't even see them on this when I was uh when I did this last week. The fuck so Zashu, Repikos, Karo, Shaggy Shank, and Amilzi. Okay, so I know the players. Um Repikos is pretty good, Zashu is pretty good, I don't know who Karo is, Shaggy Shank is really good, and Amilzi is pretty good. So I'm once again gonna go for a split. I think these European games are gonna be all over the place. I think one team probably will end up 2 owing, but the safe bet will be to vote on a split. Right up. We got Enemy versus Denial on Sunday. Enemy is looking solid, like I said. Denial just got a lot weaker with their roster changes. It's an enemy all the way. Not even a fucking argument. So we've got... Oh, they're throwing in the, the uh, OPL in this. i never even seen this either. So I'll throw in OPL. Actually, shoot, we got to scroll over. Almost messed up. And the final game of the week is Luminosity versus Envious. So like I said, I think Envious, Soar, and Luminosity are the top three teams. I think Enemy will end up being a top three team, but because we've only seen them play once and it's a new roster, I can't say for sure like that I think they're a top three team. Um, so with that said, I think I'm going to go with Envious with a 2-0 over LG. LG looked weak in week one. Uh, maybe they just didn't come out ready. Maybe they underperformed because they thought Enemy wasn't going to be that good. But this week is going to be like a battle of the top teams. I think Envy will have the practice with Mass as their new jungle by then. So if... If it's a time for Envy to show up, if Envy's going to be ready to show up, it's going to be now. So if Envy wins this, I think they should be a top two team. If they lose this, maybe the roster change would, isn't as strong as uh, anticipated. 
Then we'll do the OPL. I don't know anything about the OPL. Pandemonium's 8 and 1, so we're going with them. Uh, Tainted Minds. I know Avant Guard, but Tainted Minds in 7 and 3. I think Avant Guard went through a bunch of changes, so I'm not voting them. And then Dire Wolves used to be good. I don't know who Sin Gaming is. I'm voting for Dire Wolves. There are my picks for the week. I am going to upload this. Today's Thursday that I'm recording. I'm recording this right before a bunch of teams play. So I'm going to go ahead and put this up right away. Hopefully it can get up before and you guys can get your picks in. If not, you can get your picks for the rest of the week. So I will uh, see you guys in another video. Sacred.